We're Sid and Mackie, and we're professional mountain bikers on a quest to race the hardest and most unique mountain bike races we can find. Often, this means traveling far from home, to places like Moab or British Columbia, in search of iconic single track and hero dirt. But not today. Today, we're driving only two hours from our home to race the Oak Flats Cross Country and Short Track in Tijeras, New Mexico, outside of Albuquerque. This race is part of the New Mexico Off-Road Series, which is where Mackie did his first races as a teenager back in 2006. These kind of local races are truly the backbone of mountain bike racing. For most of us, this is where we will do our first race, where we'll first find a mountain bike community, and maybe where we'll catch that racing bug. And for the two of us, it's been way too long since we raced in New Mexico. Sid, is this your first race, cross-country race, in New Mexico since you came back from your injury? I'm trying to say it was my first cross-country race in New Mexico ever. However, just because a race is small or local doesn't mean it's easy, and overconfidence can lead to silly mistakes. What happened? Uh, hubris, mostly. Hubris. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> if you haven't heard of Harry's, they make really nice razors and razor blades that are actually affordable. As you all have probably noticed, I like my head to be, you know, well buzzed. And I prefer my face to be a little bit scruffier, or at least a little bit of stubble. What you may not have noticed is that I also shave my legs. Let me tell you guys a little story. Back in the day, this is young, recently become professional cyclist Mackie. Very poor, trying to save all of my money for gas and entry fees. I had to buy razor heads and they were so expensive. I wouldn't do it a lot of the time. I'd end up with razor burn, it was bad. So when I finally found out about Harry's, I was like, wait, I can get lots of super high quality razor heads for a reasonable price and they just come in the mail and show up, it was the best thing ever. I've been using Harry's razors since 2016, I think. It's been a while, absolutely love them. So no matter what you're shaving, check out harrys.com slash Sid and Mackie and order your starter kit. It is only $3 and you get a razor. It's made out of 50% recycled plastic, which I think is awesome and has a super duper nice five blade head. A blade protector so you can keep your blades nice and sharp and foaming shave gel. Nobody wants razor burn, whether it's on your face or on your legs. Once again, that's harrys.com slash Sid and Mackie to order your starter kit for only $3. Mackie's doing some dodgy driving right now, so if I'm distracted. Uh-oh, Mackie went the wrong way. You turn. Okay, now we're going the right way. We are on our way to Oak Flats to race. Well, is it just called the Oak Flats race or are we going to Oak Flats? Oh. We are, as usual, cutting it a little fine this morning for the short track race. It's currently 9.45, I started at 11. Should be fine. I just like am not in race mode yet this morning, so there's gonna we're gonna have to flip a switch. <laughs> it feels like we're leaving on a road trip, but actually we're driving to the race and dumping out of the car and immediately racing a short track. After having COVID for two weeks, what could go wrong? All right, we got Sid off. Now I gotta go find our packets so we can get her her number before she starts racing. Hi YouTube! <laughs> hey, here's your number, All right, okay? awesome, thanks. Sid, is this your first race, cross country race in New Mexico since you came back from your injury? I'm trying to say it was my first cross country race in New Mexico ever. This is gonna be hard, it's very <laughs> flat. Oh yeah? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good because that means there's not a, climb, a lot of climbing, but I'm afraid it's going to be a little hard because there's no recovery at all. <laughs> I know, my heart rate's going to be like 195. <laughs> the timing system is not working. Oh no. But he realized there's only three of us, so, so he's going to go yeah. tell them we're not going to worry about the timing system yep. and come back here and just keep track of. Good Three point. people. <laughs> shouldn't be that hard. To say go and then you do your thing. Go! Yeah! Oh. Woo! Go, 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 go! Yes, yeah, Sid! Woo! Go, Sid! Come on, Sid. About five minutes into it. Let's go. About 11 minutes done. One more up, one more up. Lock it in. Yes, Ed, yeah! Go, go, go! Yeah, 
Nice work, Mackie. Keep it steady. You got about yeah. three or four seconds. You can see him. Open up yeah. your gap, but he's still there. Don't get complacent. You got this. Go, 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 go. Looking good. Oh, I picked too fast of a section. That did not work at all. Yep. Go for it. Go, Mackie. You're done. <laughs> it was good. It felt good to go hard. Michael, how was your race? Hard. I didn't get pushed super hard. I did kind of throttle back on like the middle laps yeah. just because I was like, gotta do it again tomorrow. Yeah. Heart rate was very normal. Power was low, but I, I don't know if it was the course because it was just a lot of like up down. I'm absolutely stoked because I love racing short track. It's always fun to win also, um, but those guys pushed me. I feel pretty darn good, really. I don't know, tomorrow, tomorrow will be telling because it's longer and I will have to be going hard, but for longer. So, tomorrow will be interesting. Jason! <laughs> Our plan, we have him, but she's not here. Evening before the race, we are going to head to bed here shortly. Super fun, there's a ton of people here camping. This is really what I absolutely love about local racing. We're here with the whole team from Taos. We did a little pre-riding with some of the teenage boys who are racing the pro course. So we were able to work through the rock garden with them, which was super fun. This course is really cool. It's actually moderately technical, which is awesome for an XC course. The fr whole front side of the course is pretty much either technical descent or difficult punchy climbs and there's a lot of really good descending so excited for that the kids are about to start at eight so quickly making some coffee and we're gonna go over and watch that about 20 minutes until start. Probably longer, because nothing has gone on time, which is fine. Our warming up might have been for naught. Because <laughs> um, it's now 11.05, they delayed to 11. What time is it? 11.07. 11.07, no, no sign of the race starting. <laughs> it's New Mexico time, it's a yeah, thing. it's fine. Also, we've raced enough enduro that like, we know how to do this. Yeah, you sit in the shade and stay later. as cool as possible. And then you do some like body movement warm ups and then you go race. You're good to go. Yeah. Ready? Sit. Go! That corner is slippery. Okay, good start. Good first lap through the rock garden. 
almost crashed on that sandy corner before, gotta remember that. Now it's time to just settle in, do some effort, try to keep this lead. Not quite as smooth as I was hoping, but pretty good. So unfortunately, it seems I forgot to put my clutch back on when I took my wheel off yesterday to change tires. So, I need to find a spot where I can do that. All right, there's about 20 behind me because we're racing. <laughs> Uh-oh, there goes my chain falling off. Classic. This is as good a place as any. Chain. Good. Clutch back on. Okay. That was pretty good. It's got a good gap, but honestly. Five laps is feeling like a lot right now. So, I'm just gonna <clears throat> settle in something I can sustain. Water. Beckett is behind me. He was behind me on a short track yesterday until he flatted. And I get the feeling he's gaining on me on the climbs, at least the smooth climbs. So I need to make sure I stay nice and steady on the climbs and then super smooth and fast on the technical stuff and keep eating and drinking because we started real late which makes the nutrition a little harder because as opposed to being 
recently fueled and breakfast did we're a little farther back so food 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 Alright, two laps done. To be honest, did not feel super duper spectacular. I'm gonna try to drink a whole bottle of water on this lap and pick up another of electrolytes because you can tell I'm getting kind of foggy uh, behind on everything. Got my suspension open. Thank you. Hi, Kim. Can I sneak by you? Awesome. Thanks so much. seem to have gotten a bit of a gap on Beckett. So now is when I really need to put the hammer down, try to open that gap up so that he can't close it again. I gotta keep reminding myself as I get tired, that keep my head up because psychologically that will make you feel better and ride better. So head up, look ahead, don't act like you're tired. Oh, ouch. Come on, Mackie. All right, just a little crash. Okay, come on, come on. Focus, you're fine, no big deal, it's only like five seconds. How much is my gap? Solid one. Okay, good. Nice job, Mackie. Proud of you. I'm just laughing because the second place dude is going to see me and think he's catching Mackie and be all stoked and then be sad when it's just me. No sign of said second place dude. But. I have a whole lap. They have a whole lap. I have two whole laps. Head up, Mackie. Last lap. We got a bit of a gap. Now just build it so that there's no risk. Just nice clean finish. Bury yourself on this lap. Last time through the rock garden. Is that Mike? Nice sneak by you. Thank you. You do. Just feel like really thanks. Thank you so much. Water? Yeah.
We're good. Well, feeling a little stupid about that crash because I know exactly what happened. Just got kind of excited and forgot that I'm on lap four of an XC race. Luckily, I appear to have gotten away with it. Sliced my leg on something. It's really clean cut. So I don't know what I hit. It doesn't hurt that much, but it is bleeding a lot. So that's good. And the great thing is, I completely forgot that I was fatigued. Because now I'm like, got a little burst of adrenaline. So, second to last lap. Let's do it. Less than 10 minutes to go. And you're not gonna crash on this stupid turn this time. Thank you. Come on, Mackie. Five minutes. You just gotta go really hard for five minutes. Fifth and final lap. Another awkward turn, then awkward turn, then rocks. Oh, oh. Last minute swing. Bet you thought I was gonna hit the tree. What happened? Uh, hubris, mostly. Hubris, <laughs> okay. When Beckett passed me, lapped me, yep. he got a gap on me on the pavement, and I was like, I can make this up on the descent. <laughs> well, that'd be fun. <laughs> and then I found some hole. That's... I think it must have hit my rotor, because it's not painful, but it's like super clean. Yeah. So I don't know how I did it, to be honest. It kind of came out of nowhere. We'll live to fight another day. <laughs> 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 Excellent. One day, these are going to be real because it's going to be a national event. Yeah. Yes. We just go slow and steady because that's how we win a race. Yeah. Overall good. Yeah, I'm stoked. Went hard the whole time. Do I feel like I absolutely pushed to like the limit? No. Just but fine. it's hard when you're by yourself. I feel like crap now though. How about you? It was really nice to have Beckett, who ended up second, to kind of push me. Mm -hmm. um, I could see him at the end of the first and second laps, and that like made me work. And then I couldn't see him at the end of the third lap. So I was like, okay, this is my time to like really go hard to try to get this gap solid enough that it will not come undone. I got the win and I'm very happy. Drank nice. all three bottles. Which is actually like a lot of fluid for that length of race, but it's hot, it's dry yeah. here. Like sometimes your hydration needs are just different. I also <laughs> ate like a bar and a quarter and all the chews. Though I did drop my bar on the ground on the second lap, try to get a bar from Sean, fail, and then pick it up off the ground and then ate it. So, so what you're saying is that eating and drinking wins races. Yeah.